Hey guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade small group leaders, and this is for July week five. It's hard to believe that it's already the last week in July. Um, this is our last week with our small groups. All of our fourth graders are moving up to detour next week. It's kind of crazy. Um, we're gonna have a little celebration party this week, and then also make sure if you haven't signed up for one of the lead small mini conferences, um, that you go ahead and do that. It's gonna be our kickoff event for the whole year, so we really want everyone to be there. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so just come to one of those um, Sunday dates. So here we go. The life app for the month is uniqueness, discovering who God made you to be so you can make a difference. And our memory verse for this month is we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. Ephesians 2.10. So this week, um, we are talking all about gifts of the Spirit, and our bottom line is God made you to do good. So um, for week five, sorry, we don't have folders because week five just doesn't happen very often, so your, <laughs> your leader guides are just paper clipped together. Um, but just make sure that you get here at 8.30 and 10.30 to pray for your kiddos, to huddle up, talk about what's going to go on during the day. And then at 8.40 and 10.40, when kids start to roll in, you can be playing... Um, you don't have toys, sorry, that's from the other group. Just ask kids about their week. You guys are, um, you guys actually are not gonna have your snack right at the beginning because we're doing a graduation celebration um, later on. So I'll leave that up to your leaders. If you guys still wanna do goldfish, that's fine. But later on, we're doing a graduation celebration and the kids are all gonna get um, Rice Krispie treats. So anyways, um, but your icebreaker for the week is to just name one thing that you loved most about this week. What was a challenge they had? Did they go to the pool or the park or somewhere else fun? Um, what's the best thing they ate? What's the worst thing they ate? Just all kinds of questions there. Then your interactivity at 9 and 11 is called My Amazing Hand. So what you're going to do is you're going to hand a marker um, or a pen, some kind of writing utensil to each kid and ask them to hold it in their hands. And then you're going to instruct the kids to place their objects in the center of your small group area and have them take a look at their hands. And explain that you asked them to hold these objects simply to show that it's one of the many things that their hands can do. And you're gonna ask the kids to name some other things that they could do with their hands. And as they list these items, you're gonna write them on the whiteboard that's in your little cart. So um, if the kids need help getting started, here's some other things that they can do with their hands. And then you're just gonna say, so guys, your hands are amazing. And out of the animals that God created, no animal has hands like human hands. Monkeys and gorillas come close, but they don't have hands that can do all of the things that your hands can do. Our hands are truly amazing. So we're gonna go to large group and hear more about what our hands can do. So large group is still going to be down in the community auditorium this week. When you get back at 9.40 and 11.40, you're gonna do an activity called Recipe For Me. So you're gonna pass out these cards that are little recipe cards, and it just says, from the kitchen of, and the kids will put their name, and their finish time is their birthday. And then it says ingredients and directions. So what they're going to do is they're going to ask um, ask the kids if anybody's mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or aunt or whatever uses recipe cards or if they've ever seen one. And if not, just explain that before Pinterest or, you know, electronics, people would write down the ingredients on and the instructions on how to make something. Oh, my child's crying. Then you're going to have them fill it out um, for the first few sections. So they're going to put their name from the kitchen of God finish time their birthday, and then you're gonna let kids um, think of the following things and write them down in the ingredients. Three things that they like to do or that they're good at, and three personality traits. That goes in ingredients. And then um, as they're working, you're gonna create a card for yourself too. And you can use this time to encourage your few about the good things that you see in them. And this helps them give ideas of what to write about. So once everybody's finished writing, you're gonna ask the kids to use the directions section to write or draw one way that they can use the things they've listed to honor God. So what things that they're good at, how can they use that to honor God? Why is he crying? Because I did it. You did what? I pushed him down. Tell him you're sorry and let him play with your truck. Gotta love brother He wasn't time. trying to play. I was, okay. He was trying to race Well, tell him you're sorry and let him race it because you pushed him down. Hey, do you understand, Trip? Let him race it. So then you're going to ask kids to share their answers if they're willing and then share yours too. And then you're just going to close by saying, guys, these personality traits and the things that you love to do and the things that you're good at all work together to make up a wonderful you. And I love how just like you, each of your recipes is so unique. 
And God made you to do good. So, Henry, come here. Stop crying. He pulled me back. I know. He's going to get in trouble. Just stay here for just a second. So, the things that you've written on your cards. Go in the other room. Go. Go. I'm trying to do something. Go in the other room, please. Thank you. All right. Henry, if you stop crying, I'll give you a sucker. You have to stop crying, though. I get so Yeah, you have to stop crying. It's good parenting right here. Go get one. Go ahead. So the things that you've written on your cards are like little windows to show you who God created you to be. But all these unique, unique gifts aren't just for your benefit. God's created you to help and serve and give to others because God made you to do good. Guys, don't take my parenting examples. Okay, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So then um, after that, you're just gonna have a graduation celebration. So you're gonna pass out your Rice Krispie treats and just celebrate your small group. And just say, guys, God put our small group together and he created each one of you unique and amazing. And so just take some time to go around the group and compliment each child. And then for prayer at the end, you're going to have kids hold their recipe cards from earlier and give them a few minutes to just pray on their own and ask God to help them follow through by doing something good this week, specifically with something that they've written down on their cards. And then just close in this prayer right here. And as adults come, just encourage the kids to show them their recipe cards and talk about how they can use their gifts this week to do good. So that's it. Thank you for your patience while I um, we had a crying child. And thank you guys so much for serving. This school year has seriously just been a blast. It has flown by. It has been crazy, awesome, cool. So I just want to thank you so much for everything you guys do. And I'll see you on Sunday.